Hello, pretty people. Welcome to Simply Delish Duo. You guys, today we are making our mini key lime pies or tarts. I got this wonderful recipe from my sister-in-law. It is so rich and creamy. You guys are gonna love it. It is such an easy, simple, and delicious recipe. Hence the name, Simply, Simply Delish Duo. So if you guys like this recipe and would like to see more, please subscribe to our channel by pressing that red subscribe button below. For our key lime tarts, we are using store-bought tarts. So we pre-bake them, blind bake them for only about seven minutes at 350 degrees because you want to have them partially baked because they're going to go in the oven again. And we have three quarter cups of lime juice, a cup of uh, plain Greek yogurt. I have lemon zest. I grate it extra because I'm going to sprinkle some on top, but we're going to be using about a teaspoon, or pardon me, a tablespoon and a half of lime zest. I like mine very zingy. And two cans of condensed milk. So we're going to throw everything in this bowl. And, and give I'm it just going to interrupt. Mm. It's sweetened condensed it milk. It is. Yes, it is okay. sweetened condensed milk. So we will throw everything in the bowl. The yogurt's nice and thick. I like to use a nice thick yeah, Greek yogurt. Yeah, that's what's good about Greek yogurt, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. Okay. Throw your lime juice in there. And you squeeze the lime juice, right? I did. Yeah. I did. And you know what I did before? Now, like I said, I like it a little bit zingy. So just a little bit of extra. What I do also with my limes, you guys, I roll them on the counter for a little bit because it softens the flesh. So it's easier to grate too. Right. Not only that, it releases the juices, so it's easier for you to squeeze. And it's perfect so. with lemons. I do the same with lemons and oranges. Yes. Yeah. yeah. No, it is very, very, very good. So, and then we're going to throw in our condensed milk, sweetened condensed milk, in two cans. And we're going to give it a really, really good mix here. And today I'm just using a hand mixer. And then once everything's mixed nicely, we are going to start filling our tarts. So we whipped up our mixture here and we're going to start filling our tarts. Now you see it's a little bit on the runny side. Once it's cooked, it'll settle really nicely. Now, I, like I said, I did buy the pre-store, um, the store-bought tarts. And 30 come in a pack, but I'm using 24. So you'll get a good 24 tarts out of this. So I'm just using spoons here to fill up my tarts. You could use anything you want. And now you don't want to have them heaping, heaping, right? So I'm wondering, can you get 30 out of there? You know what? You can. I've made them with 30, actually. It depends, right? But, oops. We'll so, shoot for 24 for now, and then yeah, we'll, we'll get back and see if we have we'll to fill make all of these, and I'll see if I need to fill the other six. So, as soon as I'm done filling these, we will be popping them in the oven at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. Now, you want to have your tarts cooked, but you want them a little bit wobbly at the same time, too. So, and they set as they cool they down. Do. Yeah. They do, they yeah. set. So, once we pull them out of the oven, we'll show you them. My oven just beeped. I, ma I filled all my tarts. I managed to get the other six. You guys, I had a lot of filling, so I'm gonna pop them in the oven for 15 minutes. So we just pulled them out of the oven. You guys, look, the crust is a nice golden brown. Now you want these to cool off, then pop them in the fridge for about three hours before you serve them, and then you can put your whipped cream, your topping, but stay tuned because Christmas is around the corner, so we're gonna decorate it our way. We'll do some Christmas and some... And some regular yeah. without Christmas. And yeah, we're going to let them cool off. Like she said, this way the filling sets. We want to make sure you, it sets. Yeah, you so. need your filling to set. So pop it in the fridge for at least three hours after these have cooled down. So my tarts are all cooled off. You guys, I pulled them out of the fridge, started to decorate them already. I did save that lime zest, extra lime zest, just to decorate my tarts. So what you could have them just put the lime zest on top or put a bit of whipped cream put some lime zest or actually decorate them really nice for Christmas. So what I do is I grab a tart, put a little bit of whipped cream on there. Then I, the rind, I cut some lime rind earlier 
Cut them into little triangles, make a little decoration. We have some little, little red chocolate balls. You guys, isn't that amazing? Isn't that perfect? It looks so Holly, look at that. I know, it's beautiful. And if you want, you could also add a little bit of lime zest on there. So, you guys, how easy was this recipe? Easy, and any time of the year, really. Absolutely. So, we hope you like this recipe. Thank you for watching. Simply Delish Duo.